Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about bed bugs in offices. Uh, it's becoming a really, really hot button topic where a lot of people are finding bed bugs in offices and you're seeing a lot of news reports online or in your local newspaper about different offices finding bed bugs in them and usually the panic that ensues thereafter. And so what I want to talk about is I want to talk about, first off, how not to take bed bugs home from the office. And then secondly, how not to bring bed bugs into the office if, God forbid, you're dealing with a problem at home. And so first off, you know, as I said, when, when bed bugs make it into an office, what's happening is, is that somebody has an infestation back in their house and either they don't know that it's there or they're trying to deal with it unsuccessfully or maybe they're trying to hide the issue, whatever the case may be, but they're bringing bed bugs into the office on personal belongings like laptop bags or their clothes and the bugs are walking off and then scattering throughout the office. And there's a lot of unanswered questions we have about bed bugs in offices. We know they're showing up, we know people are finding them, but there's a lot that has to happen between a bed bug being introduced and an actual reproducing problem existing where you're having bed bugs feeding on people and reproducing. Most of what we see are random bugs that are introduced, or most of what we think we see are random bugs that are introduced. And we've seen very few reproducing problems. But as I said, there's a lot of things we don't understand, like where the bugs are going, you know, how they're behaving inside of an office, where to look for them when we do inspections. And so if this is a topic that you're concerned about, what I want to talk about is what you can do to hopefully prevent bringing bed bugs back to your house if you think that there may be a bed bug in the office. And what I have here in front of me are two different items that you can consider when it comes to this topic. And so say you know, a bed bug was reported in the office that you work in, you come into office every day, you obviously can't avoid bringing, say, if, you know, a purse or a laptop bag or whatever the case may be. And one thing you can consider doing is putting your items in a large Ziploc bag, just like you see here in front of me. Um, this is a two and a half gallon bag. And so say if I have a small bag that I bring to the office with me, and we know bed bugs could potentially get onto that bag, and you don't want to just sit it on the floor for fear that a bug might walk onto it, you can take that bag or any other personal items and fit them into the Ziploc bag and seal it up. It's an easy way to store things so that bugs can't get on them, and then hopefully you don't take them home with you. And so that's one simple thing you can do. And another one that's a little bit more, or I should say less discreet, um, is Tupperware containers. You know, when we do experiments, we actually do experiments with bed bugs in these Tupperware containers because we know that the bugs have a very difficult time and actually can't climb this smooth surface. And so what you could do is you could have one of these at your desk that you store under your desk, and you know, obviously it would be a bigger one than this. I just wanted to show one, you know, as an example. Where you could take, say, your laptop bag, put it inside of a, a big sweater box Tupperware container, seal it up, and then put it underneath your office chair or your desk or somewhere else in the office. And what that will do is it will prevent bugs from getting onto it. And so those are just two things that you can consider storing your items in, which can help you prevent take bu taking bugs home with you. But the one thing you can't address is your actual clothing that you're wearing. Um, you know, you come, you sit down at your desk, and you know, if I'm sitting here like this is my desk, there's nothing saying that a bug couldn't walk onto your shoe or your pant leg, be on your desk chair, you don't realize it, and it walks onto your shirt. And if you are concerned about these things, what you can do is that when you return home, you can do a quick inspection of the clothes. Because remember, although a lot of people think you can't see bed bugs, you actually can see them, especially the adults. And, you know, the first instars, the younger bed bugs, are much more difficult to see. But the adults you can see. So you can do a quick inspection of yourself, see if you have any, be you know, bed bugs crawling on you. Hopefully you don't. But if you're still concerned about it, you can take those clothes off and throw them in a hot wash and or hot dry cycle. And that will kill any bugs and their eggs that might have been on those clothes. And so, for instance, when I'm working in a really heavily infested bed bug unit, when I return home at the end of the day, I strip down before I even go inside my house, take those clothes, and put them in a hot wash and or a hot dry cycle and that will address anything on them and then I'll go possibly take a shower and I'm all set. Now if you live in an apartment and you know you can't strip down out in the hall and run around through your apartment naked because that's not going to go over very well, one thing you can do is actually go into the bathtub and take those clothes off right inside the bathtub. And that way, if you, God forbid, are taking your clothes off and something falls off of you, it's falling into that bathtub, and then if you take a shower afterwards, hopefully it gets washed right down the drain. And so that's what you can do to help prevent bringing bed bugs home with you. Now, 
The other topic I want to discuss is how not to bring bed bugs into the office with you if, God forbid, you're dealing with an infestation. And what I have here is a bag that I use when I go out, you know, and, and do different appearances for the media and whatnot. It's got a bunch of different items in it. And so when I come into the office, I often bring this bag with me. And if you go home, now say you have an infestation at home, and I go home from working, and this is the bag I bring to and from work with me. If this is the bed, the last thing you want to do is, say, store the bag on the post of the bed. And then what that does is the bag is touching the bed, and bugs could theoretically walk onto this bag. Or maybe store it next to the bed on the floor, or next to the couch on the floor. Those are all areas that subject this bag for bugs to walk onto it. And so when you go home, what you want to do is you want to possibly store anything that you take to and from the office in, again, the uh, Tupperware container I showed before, or Ziploc bags, to prevent bugs from walking onto them. And then when you leave your house in the morning, if, say, you can't do that, or you didn't, or whatever the case may be, you want to check that bag for anything that might be on it. Um, you know, look at the seams and edges along that bag. Those are the areas that these bugs are going to hide. Now, obviously, you could miss something, but just taking a quick look will help slow down introduction if, God forbid, that should happen. And then the last thing I want to mention, which goes both ways, taking bugs back home with you and taking bugs into the office, is you want to limit the amount of items you take to and from the office. If you usually take a backpack that's just got some personal belongings in it that you never know when you're going to need, and you can avoid bringing that to and from the office, it's one less item that you have to be concerned about. And so that's something to consider when it comes to bed bugs in offices. And so that's a quick overview of bed bugs in offices. You know, big important topic right now, getting a lot of attention, and those are just a couple simple tips to protect your items when you're in the office and help prevent bringing bed bugs into the office if God forbid that you should have a problem. So if you have any questions about this topic or any other topic, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.